Let's preview the Giants versus Jets game. Uh, if you prefer to call it the Snoopy Bowl, I kindly ask you to leave. This is <laughs> this game is taking place on Sunday, October 29th, the Halloween game. One o'clock start at MetLife Stadium, formerly known as Giants Stadium. No big deal. Jets are favored by three. Over under is 37. <sighs> That's a low total, but I honestly still would take the under. <laughs> And uh, minus three Jets, mm, I guess. I mean, they did come close to beating the Chiefs, probably should have beat the Chiefs, beat the Eagles. The defense is just on another level right now. Uh, they're leaders in the clubhouse for the Jets. Zach Wilson, thrown for almost 1,100 yards and four touchdowns. He's looking, I guess, better than a lot of people would have thought or expected. Garrett Wilson, um, they're... Offensive rookie of the year last year. 32 catches, 369 yards, two touchdowns. Brees Hall, who probably would have been the offensive rookie of the year if he didn't get hurt. 66 carries for 426 yards and two touchdowns. So Brees Hall is a problem. Garrett Wilson's a problem. The last five matchups have been a doozy. November 2019, we lost 34 to 27. Uh December 2015, we lost 23 to 20. That was that was the backbreaker. That was uh, you know, last second field goal from I don't know how far out. I think it was like 50 some odd yards with the dagger. Um, uh, Prince of Muck, a Muck, a Muck, a Muck, a Muck, a Prince of Muck, a mm, come on now, come on now. Prince Amukamara getting uh mossed by Brandon Marshall in the end zone. Uh, that felt like a very winnable game that we lost in the last minutes, which was a common theme in 2015 with our defense. And then uh, Christmas Eve 2011, who could forget? We beat them 29-14. Uh, the, of course, the the highlight from that game that we see every year is Eli throwing the Victor Cruz. We were on our own one. Eli throws the Victor Cruz uh, out on the and the and the uh, outside the numbers short pattern, and then Cruz takes it to the house. And then November 2003, the Kerry Collins led. I believe this was Kerry Collins. Led Giants beat the Jets 31 and 28. So we lead the all-time series eight to six, which we we went from like the most played all-time series against Washington, where it was like 110 and 74 and two to eight six. <laughs> um yeah. And I won't even go over the matchup that we had with the Jets in 88. Mm. Season where we probably should have gone to the playoffs and we didn't because we lost the Jets at all. You know, in the final one of the final games, it's not the final game. I definitely wept that night. So Jets are two and two at home, one and one on the road. Giants are one and two at home, one and three on the road. Uh, it's technically a Giants home game, so take that for what it's worth. Uh, we are still dead last in points scored. <laughs> We're at twelve point one points scored a game. Oh boy, that's hard to look at. Uh, Jets are twenty second in points scored per game per game at around almost 19. Their defense has allowed less than 20 points per game. They're thir ranked 13th in the league. We're allowing almost 25 points per game, which is 23rd. But if you take the last two games, maybe mix in that Seattle game, numbers significantly lower. Jets are plus five in takeaway differential, which is seventh in the league. We're minus four, which is still 26th. Crazy to think that we haven't really been turning the ball over that much in the past couple of weeks, but yet we're still, we turned it over so much in the first three or four weeks, and that's probably what's leading to that number. Jets are dead last in passing yards per game at 32nd, and we're 14th in the league in defensive pass yards per game, and I think that number's only going to improve. So I do not think they're going to be able to pass the ball on us. I'm like fairly, fairly certain of that. Jets are 12th in the league in rushing yards per game, whereas we're 27th in rushing yards allowed per game. So that's where I could see us having some problems and some issues where Brees Hall just runs a buck wild all over our asses. We're 21st in rushing yards per game. Uh, Jets defense is actually 26th in rushing yards per game, which is interesting. So maybe we do get the run started up in Hall. Maybe we do rattle off some runs and we just ground and pound and ground and pound and wear them down and wear them down and wear them down. Are we looking at a repeat of the Texans game last year where Barkley reeled off 35 carries? Nah, probably not. And uh, we're 29th in passing yards per game. And uh, the Jets defense is 15th in the league 
in defensive passing yards allowed per game. So I don't know if Sauce Gardner is going to go back. He was out due to an illness, I think, was the injury report. Maybe it was a concussion, but I think he's going to come back. So I think they're getting some some guys back in the secondary. Um, so I don't see us being particularly successful in the passing game unless Dave's and Kafka really employ the run and play action. And if our defense can hold up and we don't get down by multiple scores, let's just stick to that. Let's run, play action, run, play action. Let's move Tyrod out of the pocket and, uh, you know, let's just uh, take what we can get. So uh, I am predicting, a, whew, like I said, I think I said the previous week, I could see this being like a nine to six, six to three game. <laughs> I think this is going to be like we saw so many punts in the Giants Washington game. I think we're going to see so many punts in the Giants Jets game. I just don't see this being a high scoring game. With that said, watch them fucking light up the scoreboard. <laughs> watch them just go ape and uh, set records and points scored. So that's the Giants Jets preview. Quick look ahead at the remaining schedule. If we do extract a dub against the gangrene we'll be three and five and we have the raiders in vegas afternoon game sunday week nine raiders i don't know man i don't think they look good just got blown out by the bears bears were playing their backup quarterback was his name badgent bagent um dad's an arm wrestler justin fields wasn't playing and they put up 30 against the raiders so brian horror was starting I don't know what Jimmy G's situation is, but you got to feel like that's we get a pretty good chance to get a dub there. Then we're playing at Dallas on November 12th. And, you know, what more can you say about the freaking Cowboys and the lack of respect they have for our organization <laughs> from head to toe, from the CEO and the owner to the janitor? They just like they just they spit in our soup. And uh, who knows? Hopefully, I mean, if I'm Dabes, I put on the tape from the from the season opener, and I and I and I specifically fo- like if they have any shots of the Cowboys laughing and just been like just mocking and ridiculing us, fired up. And it doesn't even have to be from the season opener. It can be from the last eleven billion times we played them and how they just laugh in our face every friggin' time. Play that. Get as fired up as possible and stick it to them. Like I don't even think the Cowboys should have beat the Chargers. I think the Chargers bungled that one i want to see i just want to see competitive football you know i know that on part of my take they say like don't say must compete it's a must compete if we really think we've uh turned the corner we turn the page we're on the up and up you gotta take it to them to to the clock hits zeros all zeros you know really make them earn it now this uh hey uh would you like some points we're giving away points and then we go we go to Washington face the Commanders again. That's probably a win, but it's not going to it's it's never easy and it's going to be I'll have some heart palps for sure. It's definitely going to be nerve-wracking and uh not great for the for my state mental physical condition anything like that. It'll come down to the to the end again. Yet again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll uh it'll be a clean victory and we won't have to worry about any asterisks. And then we had the Patriots, which before the Buffalo game, I would have said we're going to steamroll them. And now it's like, uh, it is Buffalo suck. Is New England back? Tough to say, but you got to feel like that's the one. So if we can get to 500 by the bye week in week 13, it's right there for the taking. Here's your shot. Here's your opportunity. Here's your chance. I mean, you can see what happened to certain teams when injuries happen. San Francisco loses to Minnesota on Monday night because they were out without Debo Samuel and they were without Trent Williams, a star player and a star all pro left tackle. Sound familiar. We didn't have Thomas. We didn't have Barkley. If we, you know, once we get healthy, it's like if we get all our injuries out of our system in the first half of the season, that's I'll take that in a heartbeat. It's not how it starts, how you finish, bro. It's a long season. 